Hello everyone and welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. My name is Mackenzie and in today's video we are going to practice describing. We are going to describe our feelings, physical objects, and events. So how do we describe things? Well, we do this by using words called adjectives. An adjective is a word that describes a place, a person, an animal, a thing, a feeling, or thought. Some adjectives describe physical things. We can use these to describe the size, the shape, the color, the feel, or the sound of something. Other adjectives describe our feelings. For instance, these are words like happy, sad, excited, surprised, shocked, angry, and more. So, when we are trying to describe something, we use these wonderful words called adjectives. We are going to practice describing things in an activity. For this activity, you are going to need scissors, some markers and brown colored pencils, and three pieces of paper. To skip the coloring process, you can also use brown construction paper if you have that on hand. If not, simply take some white printer paper and some brown colored pencils. So, let's get to the activity. I have three bags here. Each bag contains a mystery item. I'm going to give you some adjectives that describe the item inside of each bag. We are going to use these words to guess what is in each bag. But first, we need to create our own graphic organizers where we can write the adjectives for each item down. This will help us guess what each bag contains. First, take your pieces of paper and you're going to trace out a paper bag. It should look something like this. Then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut your paper bag out. Remember, hold the scissors away from your body and always ask an adult for help. Once cut out, it should look something like this. Go ahead and take your colored pencil and color your whole bag brown. Repeat this process for your second two pieces of paper. Once complete, your bag should look something like this. Now, we are going to label each bag. Label them one, two, and three. Now, we are going to write description and filling on each bag. Go ahead and set number two and number three to the side. First up, we have bag number one. I'm going to list out some adjectives for the item inside of bag one, and we are going to guess what bag one contains. These are physical descriptions. So on bag number one, we are going to write orange, round, smooth, and small. Please note, that while the item in this bag is orange and small, this particular item can also be many different colors and it can be many different sizes. So, based on the description I have given you, what do you think is inside of the bag? Well, item number one is a pumpkin. Now, you're going to write how you felt when you discovered that item number one was a pumpkin. You should be describing your feelings using adjectives. You can write something like shocked, happy, surprised, sad, and more. Go ahead and pause the video now to write adjectives for how you were feeling. So item number one is orange, smooth, small, and round. Detail your feelings using adjectives. For item number two, we are going to do the same thing. 
the item in our second bag is soft, fuzzy, warm, and long. Go ahead and pause the video now to write down these adjectives. So based on these adjectives, what do you think is in bag number two? Well, we have a pair of warm fall socks. Now that we know what item number two is, describe your feelings on your paper bag below. I am going to write happy because warm socks make me happy. Pause the video now to complete bag number two. We are going to do something a little bit different for bag number three. I am first going to show you the item and I want you to write your own physical description on your bag under description. So inside the bag we have fall leaves. These are leaves that have fallen off of the tree because it is fall. So you can write long, crunchy, brown, orange, smooth, and more for your physical description. Then I want you to tell a friend, a parent, a peer, or a guardian the item, the description you wrote on your bag. Have them guess what item number three is. Then either tell them what the item was or pause the video now and show them. After you get their reaction, describe how they reacted under feelings. Were they happy? Were they sad? Were they shocked? How did they feel about item number three? Write that here on your paper bag. And just like that, we've used adjectives to guess three items. A pumpkin, socks, and fall leaves. Use your new description skills in your writing so that you can be more descriptive for the reader. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please like and subscribe to our channel and we will be back with more fun videos.